Welcome back to the First Co virtual training program. In these service scenarios, we'll be looking at actual repair or replacement of parts of the HX or HXX units. In this segment, we'll be looking at the blower motor replacement. Removing and replacing the fan motor is a pretty straightforward task. Again, it's important to make sure you have the right tools for the job, which are shown here. We'll begin with the assumption that the blower assembly has been removed from the unit and is on a workbench or a location where it's easier to work on. As always, be sure and verify that the electrical power is off before attempting any work on the HX or HXX unit. First, locate the inlet ring on the left blower housing. In order to make reinstalling the fan motor easier, it is recommended that you mark the outside of the inlet ring with a pencil or marker to make the inlet ring realignment and reinstallation quicker. Remove the left inlet ring and set it to the side for reinstallation. Note that there is no need for you to remove the right inlet ring. Turn the blower housing so that you are looking into the blower throat. Using a T-handle Allen wrench, loosen the set screws on each blower wheel. With the set screws loose, remove the left blower wheel out of the side of the blower housing. Locate the four screws holding the left blower housing and mark these holes. You only need to remove the left blower housing to remove the motor. Remove the four screws and then remove the housing. This allows access for the motor to be removed. Make note of the direction of the motor rotation before removing the motor. There will be a diagram on the motor itself. Using a large flat tip screwdriver, remove the mounting springs. Be sure to remove the spring clips on both sides of the motor. With the clips removed, you can now remove the current motor. Grip the open piece of the shaft and lift up and outwards until the shaft clears the right blower wheel and housing. Remove the flexible conduit containing the motor wires and retain it for use during the installation of the replacement motor. Using the flexible conduit removed earlier, Thread the motor wires through the conduit. Before installing the replacement motor, make sure the directional arrow on the motor is pointed in the right direction of airflow. Slide the shaft into the right side blower housing and blower wheel and center the motor on the motor mounting bracket. Secure the motor to the bracket using the spring clips removed earlier. Reinstall the blower housing on the left side that you removed earlier. Reinstall the left blower wheel paying attention to the airflow direction. Reattach the inlet ring, lining up the reference marks you made earlier.
line up the two fan wheels in the center of their respective housing and using the T-handle Allen wrench, tighten down on the set screws. Rotate the blower wheels to make sure they are rotating freely and not rubbing on the housing. Refer to the blower housing removal and replacement video for more details on reconnecting the wiring. If you're working with an HXX unit, the primary difference is the motor itself. The HX unit uses a PSC motor, while the HXX unit uses an ECM motor. The procedure for replacement for both motors is essentially the same. This concludes the procedure for removing and replacing the motor assembly. See you soon and thanks for watching.